Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 93 days away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really great about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film, at the end of the day, is going to contain and reveal many different twists and turns that will lead to saga-wide implications within the Skywalker saga. That's really going to change how we view many of the characters related to, of course, you know, Kylo Ren, Rey, Luke, Palpatine, you name it, and how all the characters are going to evolve and progress from start to finish of this film. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Episode 9. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that Kylo Ren and his Knights of Ren are traveling into an abandoned Imperial base, where it's explained that they are in search of Palpatine's vault that has been locked away for decades. It's described that eventually Kylo Ren comes across across the vault and is able to break in with the Knights of Ren by his side, which is where Kylo Ren is said to come across many relics and artifacts that once belonged to Sidious himself, one of which is said to be a hollow projector of Darth Maul. Eventually Kylo is said to activate the hologram of Darth Maul that is said to have been recorded some time before the events of the Phantom Menace, where as the hologram plays, Maul begins to reveal many secrets of the Force. Before he does, it's said that Maul refers to himself as Maul Zitsu Oppress, where Maul begins to talk about the Dark Temples and how they were created by a fallen will. This fallen will is said to be the one responsible for creating the very origins of the Dark Side itself that many Sith Lords used to gain power. And that it was the fallen will, who is a godlike being, who created the divide between the Jedi and the Sith on purpose by corrupting the Beyond, which is a location based in the Unknown Regions. So let's go over a couple of parts about this and as to why this really changes everything related to the Force, the Dark, and the Light. And what I love so much about this is that this is really diving deep into the Wills. Now, in case you guys are unfamiliar with the Wills, they refer to themselves as these godlike beings, one of which is actually said to be a fallen Will who corrupted the Beyond. So, what's really intriguing about the Beyond is that it's actually said to be the strongest Force Nexus in the entire galaxy. And that Force Nexus was eventually corrupted by one of the Fallen Wills that actually made it the true origins of the Dark Side itself. Now, Maul is actually said to refer to himself as Maul Zitsu Oppress, basically his true identity being revealed in the rise of skywalker through this hologram now i don't know if you guys saw ray park's videos he's been doing a lot of training lately a lot of moves on instagram and a lot of people are starting to wonder what's really going on here he shaved his head like he's ready for a mall role it could have something to do with episode 9 that lines directly up with this we do know that reshoots are happening as we speak so a lot of things really are happening with the restructuring of the second and third act of this movie. So moving past all of this, what's also very interesting is that this is actually said to be the moment in which Kylo realizes that the dark side itself was created by a godlike being that is of course a fallen will. Now the wills were created by George Lucas way back in the 1970s when Star Wars A New Hope was in the works and how they're really using the wills as a way of telling a part of the story I think is going to be a very good direction by Disney and Lucasfilm because a lot of fans have always wanted to learn more about the wills themselves and exactly where they are located, who they really are, and exactly how they will be incorporated into the Skywalker saga at a certain, at a certain point in time, right? So, this is actually all said to be based within Palpatine's vault. Now, this hologram of Darth Maul is said to have been recorded sometime before the events of the Phantom Menace. So, this thing is at least 60 years old. That's a very old hologram to still be playing around and actually to be delivering information to Kylo Ren indirectly. So, we do know that Kylo Ren is said to be searching for as, as much, you know, Jedi and Sith lore as possible in this movie to better understand the ways of the past and how he can really apply that to his new order to be pretty much flawless without making the same exact mistakes as both the Jedi and the Sith did. And Kylo is trying to create this new order, if you will. Now, yes, the First Order is still a thing in The Rise of Skywalker, but it's in a far weakened state. It's not as strong as it used to be. Yes, they have these super weapons. Yes, they will eventually fight the new Sith Empire, where there's going to be a three-faction war between the Resistance, the First 
First Order and Palpatine's New Empire, which honestly I think is going to be a very interesting side of Star Wars that we haven't seen before on the big screen that I think a lot of fans are really going to respect. And the last thing I just want to go over here is that, well, we do know that this movie is going to have a lot of connections to the prequels and the originals, where a lot of revelations will be connected to all of that that's going to change our perception of the past eight Star Wars movies. Which, I must add, is a big risk. It really is. It's a big risk by Disney and Lucasfilm, and it's all a matter of execution. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.